Hey guys, so I'm here to film my luxury favorites and fails for you guys. This is a video that I love to watch on YouTube and I thought I would share my own with you guys. So I hope you guys are excited for this video and I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so before I even start, you already know the drill, please give me a like, please subscribe to my video, hit the notification bell so you know when I am uploading new videos, and give me a comment down below of your favorites and your fails, whether it is luxury or not, what have you bought that you loved, what have you bought that you have not so not loved so much, um, I am interested to know. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, so I thought it'd be fun to share um, a fail, but then also share a favorite of the same sort of item. I thought that would be really fun to share with you guys. If there are any products um, or um, items that I have that is a favorite and I don't have a fail for it, vice versa, I will let you know. But let's go ahead and get started um, into this. So my first fail is going to be... Uh, these Christian Louboutin shoes and this was actually my first um, luxury shoe purchase and um, a friend actually kindly got this for me um, she was going to a Christian Louboutin sale and that was like the perfect time for me to um, get a pair of shoes finally so I was like you know what pick me up a pair of shoes I told her kind of what I wanted she picked these up for me and at first I really really loved them but there are a few reasons why these have become a fail. So I'm going to share the shoes with you first and foremost. So these are the shoes here. And I'll try to get some close-ups if I can. But these are the shoes here. And this is the, oh my gosh, I don't even know. These are, I'll put the name of this um, on the screen. But it's one of the styles that has a velvet base it's a black velvet base but then has all of these spikes on it and in this particular shoe it goes from a rose gold a gray pewter up to black blue and then red so looking at the shoe i think it's really really stunning it is definitely a showstopper i actually got these um i purchased these for like right before my was it 29th birthday I was turning 29 I believe and I purchased these yes I was turning 29 so that's why I purchased these for myself um and I could barely wear them so what I had to do actually is wear another pair of shoes to the restaurant and then I put these on while I was standing I took pictures in them but I found these to be like the most uncomfortable shoe that I ever have put on my foot and it really turned me off to Christian Louboutin shoes. I mean, I've heard they're uncomfortable and I don't have a narrow foot. I have a pretty normal to wide. It, it borders on being a wider foot. So I don't think these were the shoe for me. Um, I also think maybe the heel is just a bit too high. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need to get the platform versions or something like that because these were just not... It and um, I even put a little sole in here to kind of make them more comfortable that did not help at all so I will not be selling these getting rid of these just because these were my first pair of luxury shoes and I just kind of want to keep them for sentimental reasons but I wore them one time so yeah definitely not great didn't get any uh, you know cost per wear out of them so they weren't a great investment at all and yeah, let me uh, let me know if you guys feel that same way about Christian Louboutin shoes. Um, there's a fly in here. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I hate I hate flies. Okay, but let's get into a pair of shoes that I actually really really love um, and that um, are comfortable. All right, guys, so I want to share these beautiful shoes with you. These are the Manolo Blahnik um, little pumps here these are so cute these are a patent leather i have worn the heck out of these shoes so much that um i went out with uh to do like karaoke with my family and i was just doing a little bit too much and i actually kind of broke the heel and i went and got them repaired because i love these shoes so much and i found them at a great price i found them when i was randomly shopping at a century 21 so I didn't even pay full retail 
for these bad boys these are so cute they are open in the middle and they are so comfortable granted the heel is definitely shorter than the um louboutin heel but still i would definitely prefer um, manila blonics over the christian louboutin shoes and i have multiple pairs of um manila blonics and they're all comfortable so i can safely say that these definitely for me um, went out over the Christian Louboutin shoes unfortunately and I'm so sorry because I know there's so many people who love their red bottoms but for now this is not something that I am into maybe in the future if I can find a comfortable pair but I am not running out to buy red bottoms anytime soon all right guys I really don't want to share these because so many people love these shoes but these are the um, Hermes orange sandals. They don't work out for me. I feel like half the people who do these videos, half of them have it on their fails, half of them have it on their favorites. And I really think it comes down to the size of your foot because I have, again, remember I, I said I have a regular to a wider foot. I think these really work out for people who have narrow feet or even normal feet, but these on a wide foot, it's not going to work out <laughs> because yeah I've worn them um I don't really want to show you the back of them because they're a little worn in um but I've worn them a pretty good amount I've worn them five six times and they're still not comfortable and the first time that I wore them they actually cut both of my feet so yeah that wasn't too good and so yeah, these are not comfortable, and as much as I want to love them, I cannot. So let's get into some sandals slash slides that I actually really do love. I have so many sl slides and sandals that I could share with you guys, but for favorites, it has to be these. It has to be the Christian Dior D-Way slides. I don't know if people say D-Way, D-Way. D-Way slides, the ones that are woven, they come in so many colors, they keep coming in out in different colors, and then old colors get discontinued that you want, you can't find them, you gotta get a different color, those. These are so comfortable. Take it from a person who has a normal to wide foot, these are so comfortable. I will say one of my coworkers, um, she was wearing a different color one day, we were talking about them, I was like, oh my god, I love these, they're so comfortable. She has a wider foot than me and she said she loves them, she likes them but she doesn't love them. She said they're not the most comfortable, so I think if you have a very wide foot, they might not be like crazy comfortable. For me, they feel like slippers, they feel like, you know, you have nothing on your feet, they're very lightweight, they're not very heavy on your foot like some other luxury um slides can be that have a heavy bottom they can be really heavy these are amazing and i highly recommend them my best friend just got a pair because she loves them uh, um how they look on me and she really wanted a pair so she got the black pair um so i really want another pair but you know for what they are i will say they are very expensive so i'm gonna hold off on that for a while because i have a pair but i do want another pair Okay, so the last pair of shoes that are a favorite and I don't have a counterpart for it for that's a fail are these. Oh my god, they're so dirty. Forgive me. But these um, Gucci Prince Town loafers, they are well worn. These were a gift from my best friend a while ago. I want to say going on two years and they are well loved. I, they are well loved. You can see the leather is just super worn. It's super worn in here. These are just the most comfortable slip on and go. I did not have to break these in at all. Some people feel like they have to break them in a bit. I did not have to break these in at all. I love these. I recommend these to everyone, men, women, children, everyone. This is like the cutest little loafer for work. Um, they're so comfortable because the back is out. And I can wear these up until the fall, um, until it gets really cold, because I live in New York with no problem. Um, they look so cute with jeans and a sweater. They look cute with shorts. They look cute with skirts and dresses. It's just so cute. I want the nude pair so bad. Um, but yeah, I've had these for a while. I love them. And I do recommend that when you first get them, before you even wear them, that you get them sold um, or resold because they do wear down. And then 
once they wear down the leather starts to wear down so that happened to me but I don't mind a very worn in look and when um, it gets really bad I'm gonna try to go and get them resold anyway so um, but I do recommend when you get them a lot of people when they first get them before they wear them they take them to a cobbler and have them uh, you know resold them um, so that you know you don't really go into that problem all right guys so I want to talk about a favorite uh, SLG and then they fail so I uh, want to talk about the six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton of course this is the favorite not the fail this I recommend to everyone as like one of your first um, luxury purchases because it's not too crazy expensive um, under $500 and it's so functional that you will use it every day so you're gonna get your cost per wear out of it I recommend getting the one without the colored leather um, on the outside and inside I have the oops I have the plain one with the um, just the plain um, monogram canvas and this is the six ring I think they did they discontinue the four ring key holder I'm not sure there's a four and a six this is a six one behind um, the keys there's an area to put cards so you can put your driver's license in here in a, in a debit card or credit card and you'll be fine with just this so I really like that about it I keep business cards back there but yeah this is really really great I love 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 that and I'm so sad to say and I don't want to say it, but my fail has to be the round coin purse from Louis Vuitton. And the only reason why it is a fail is that I don't really use it. Um, one, because it has a ton of change in it. It's really heavy and it really weighs your purse down. And then also I don't use a ton of cash. And um, if I do, I don't really use the change. I'll like throw the change in my purse and you know or in here and not really use it so this is chock full of change that i need to put deposit into our little like piggy bank thing because then we like change that like once it gets really full we'll go and change it for cash or deposit it but yeah i i, I really really love this and this was a gift for my husband but it has to be a fail just because i don't use it and also um i actually you could I think I would use it more if I didn't use it for change like if I put my headphones in it or if I stored something else in it and put it in my purse then I think it wouldn't be such a fail because I do use it for change and I don't really you know use the change I think it's a fail also I want to say that I had a bad experience with this so I think that kind of also goes into it being a fail um, maybe like a month or two after getting this the I was really putting a lot of change in it granted but this is a luxury item so it should really stand up to um, wear and tear the quality what happened was that the um, zipper kind of came uh, apart from the canvas and so I took it to a Louis Vuitton store and they told me that they couldn't really do anything about it um and i was just like well i bought it just a few months ago my husband bought it for me he was like and they were like yeah they didn't even offer to like replace it they were like well we can send it out but you'll have to pay for the repairs and i'm like well how much would it be to send it out and they told me it would be like 200 dollars to fix it and this little thing is it's under 300 dollars. so why am i paying so much to have it fixed um, so I was really annoyed by that. So what I actually end up doing is taking it to a um, the leather spa in New York City. They have a few locations. So I took it to one by my job and they fixed it for $80. And so they fixed it. They um, just took off the Louis Vuitton um, pull and replaced it and put it on here so that I can still have that on there. And it's perfectly fine um, now. But that really kind of annoyed me. Um, that I had that experience with them so yeah definitely I'm gonna have to go into unfortunately my fail category all right guys so now I'm gonna get into purses um, I'm gonna talk about let's talk about the fail first so this is my first ever luxury uh, purse purchase luxury handbag purchase my first ever so this is the Chloe I even forget the actual style of it um, I'll put it on the screen but this is a Chloe bag it I thought it was just so cute and I like it because it doesn't scream um, 
you know designer so i really really like that about it it just has a tiny little gold button that says chloe and then of course it has this feature on it that is very um known to chloe uh, which is really great um it is so cute it has these really large um little detail like grommet details it's not a grommet i don't know what these are but it has this really nice detail on the bottom um onto the back it's leather and suede and now why this is a fail is because i should have never gotten a suede bag in this color for my first luxury bag because what happened is that i did not store it in its um dust bag or anything like that so what actually ended up happening i had it on a hook on the back of my door and my husband took his towel you know from the shower he just put it up to dry and it was touching the bag and it got all these stains on it and I'm assuming is because he dried off and everything and maybe it was like oils from his body that got into the suede and so it had all these stains on it so you can see it's not you know in pristine condition and I thought it wouldn't bother me but as I wore it it really bothered me um, so I took it to the leather spa and they really couldn't do anything about it. They actually cleaned it for free for me, but it really didn't do anything. And they suggested that I dye this, um, black, um, so that, you know, you wouldn't see any of that, that I dyed this part black and I might do that in the future, but this is definitely a fail for me because I should have known better not to purchase a bag with suede in it because it really, um, needs to be, um, upkept and almost like babied. And I'm not a person who babies my bags at all like i'm super rough on my bags my shoes whatever i own i'm not babying it i'm using it and wearing it so um yeah that wasn't really smart on my part but again not getting rid of this because it was my first luxury handbag purchase uh purchase so it has sentimental value now let's go on to let's go on to a favorite and I actually have two because I couldn't really choose like a favorite handbag, um, like everyday handbag. So I wanted to share the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse with you guys. And this is just, it's great. It's so, so functional. Um, it's just so functional and it has stuff in there, but it's just so functional. I love, love, love it. There are so many reviews on this bag. Oops. There are so many reviews on this bag and it's just a great bag and i just love it so so much and if you guys want to what's in my bag with this please let me know i don't wear it as often because it does have the monogram and sometimes i feel like it's just a bit much but i do really really love it and especially since um normally i dress pretty plainly just neutral colors that's a nice little bag to have on when you're just wearing black or plain colors but um i couldn't choose between that and this bag here which was in my last what's in my bag this is the celine micro luggage it comes with a crossbody strap that i have taken off because i lately have been liking to carry it like this and also like that so i took that off but i really really love this they're both small bags but they fit a ton they're really great for every day i just really love this one because it um has silver um hardware on it so it's a little bit more understated it's also gray it's solid color so this one is really i feel like more understated especially living in new york i think sometimes this is better i feel more comfortable wearing this um instead of the monogrammed um pochette matisse last but not least i'm going to share a favorite um mini bag and a fail mini bag let's start with the favorite so my favorite little mini bag has to be and i wear it so so much uh if you follow my instagram you'll see that how much i wear this this is the gucci what is this the gucci dionysus like mini bag and it is the one with the black suede my husband bought this for me i love this i love how casual it is because even though it is covered in the uh canvas the gucci canvas it's i feel like it doesn't scream because it is this color and also it's so small and again the silver hardware just makes this like the perfect like throw on and go um bag i feel comfortable like throwing it on going into target it's just so cute and i love 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 this bag so much and then another bag that i was dying to get for so long and my husband uh, like he bought this for me as well 
I was dying to get this bag and when I finally got it I was so happy but these the fail is gonna be this Gucci uh, what is this the Gucci Marmont um, is it I think it's the Marmont if it's not I'm gonna put the name up um, on the screen but it's the mini um, Gucci bag and so I feel like because of the color and the hardware I feel like I mean yes it can be dressed down but just automatically looking at it it being black and gold I find that it's a bit too dressy for every day and I also struggle to find outfits to wear this with I just don't reach for it um does anyone have this bag and have like the same issue i wish maybe i got it in a nude color a brown color that would make it a little bit more casual i still wear it here and there but um i just don't reach for it and for it for me to have really wanted this bag my husband will tell you like how much i wanted this bag and he got it for me it was like here you know and i was just so happy um for me to have wanted it so bad and lusted after after it so bad and to get it and not wear it so much you know is really a shame so this has to go into the fails but i still wear it here and there all right guys i hope you enjoyed my luxury favorites and fails video i would love for you guys to let me know again down below in a comment what were your fails and your favorites i love to check out new bags um, and I have a little bit of a wish list going on some bags that I'm looking at so let me know and also please don't forget to like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're already a subscriber here on my channel and you're just coming back to view this video I just want to say how much I appreciate you for supporting this channel and I will talk to you guys in a later video bye guys